Please stand. Face the flag. Put your right hand over your heart. Ready? Begin. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, with liberty and justice for all. Good morning, Bears. While it's the last show of the semester, we've got a lot to cover. On today's show, we have a holiday man on the street and a look at Tech Crew's fundraising event tonight. I'm Mackenzie Monaghan. And I'm Kanish New. Today is Friday, December 15th, and for the last time ever in 2023, Good Morning John Burroughs starts right now. Welcome back. Let's start off our show with a look at Tech Crew's immersive holiday movie fundraiser taking place tonight. Here's more. Good morning, John Burroughs. We're your JBHS Tech Crew. We know you're not actually going to study for your finals, so here's a little something to get your parents off the, your case. Tonight at 7 o'clock in the auditorium, we're going to be playing Elf on the big screen. It's $5 at the door with drinks, popcorn, and snacks available inside, cash only. Wear your PJs, bring a blanket, something festive, whatever jingles your bells. Thank you. See you there, Bears. Thanks, guys. In on-campus news, the winner of ASV's holiday door decorating contest is Miss Burner. Make sure to stop by room 1211 to check out their amazing Whoville-themed first place door. It's also the last day of Holiday Movie Spirit Week, so stop by the quad today to listen to holiday music before the start of finals. With winter break only a week away, students make sure to stop by the Lost and Found to check if you may have lost a water bottle, sweatshirt, or lunch book. Stop by Student Services to take a look or the online bulletin for a picture of lost items. All unclaimed items will be donated over the break. Send it over to GMJB reporter Francisco DeCio, who is around campus finding out JBHS's students for the winter break. Good morning, Bears. I'm Francisco DeCio, and today I'm asking what Bears are doing over winter break. And what will you be doing over the winter break? Um, I'm going to head up to Big Bear because my parents are like renting out a cabin for the winter break. Yeah. That's good. Thank you. And what will you be doing over winter break? Playing Lego Fortnite. Uh, probably sleeping. Uh, probably uh, buying a bunch of Lego Fortnite to play with. Yeah, because I like Lego Fortnite. Legos. Yeah. Thank you. What will you be doing over winter break? Uh, play some Lego Fortnite. Probably sleeping in. What will you be doing over winter break? I'm going to be going to my family's farm near Fresno, and I'm going to be practicing my musical instruments. I'm going to be going to the Philippines to spend time with some family relatives and reuniting with my dad. Uh, going to go down to the family farm, and my uh, grandmama is going to make her famous turkey ham. Thank you guys so much. That's all for me. Back to you, Lucio. Thanks, Francisco. Make sure to head to our Instagram and let us know what your plans are. If you're looking to get some reading done over the break, stop by the library to check out a book for the holidays. There's so many new books that could be your favorite. Speaking of the library, government economics, psychology, and sociology students, the time has come to turn in your textbooks. Bring your books to your teachers by December 21st. Those who miss the deadline will be indebted immediately, so don't wait, Bears. If you want to buy some JBHS gear for yourself or a loved one for the holidays, there are new items on sale in the student store. Purchase a pair of Burroughs pajama pants for just $20 or get a discounted JBHS hoodie for a limited time only. In college and career news, the FAFSA application will be available by December 31st. This totally revamped application process is a graduation requirement and a free opportunity for financial aid. Check out the FAFSA website for more information and to make an account. Spring dual enrollment is now available. These classes offer free college and high school credit and can be transferred to Cal States and UCs. To see the list of classes and their schedules, head to the BUSD CTE page or see Ms. Deisty in the Career Center. Before we end our show, let's take a look at sports news. Just because the semester is ending doesn't mean our winter sports are slowing down anytime soon. Here's Brandon with more.
Good morning, Bears. This is Brandon, and I'm here with your final sports update of the fall semester. Boys basketball is hoping to bounce back after a tough loss to Pasadena on Tuesday. They play at home tonight against CV. Frosh plays at 515, JV at 345, and Varsity at 645. Girls basketball is also home against the Falcons today. They are currently 3-0 in league and are hoping for a fourth win tonight. Frosh plays at 645 while both JV and Varsity tip off at 515. Boys soccer plays at home against CV. Varsity kicks off at 345 and JV plays at 515. Finally, girls soccer is on the road against Christiana Valley after a big win on Tuesday against Pasadena Bulldogs. The girls are hoping for another win this afternoon. Both Varsity and JV kick off at 345. Looking forward to the spring season, remember to come out today for the swim team tryouts. Make sure you have your swim team equipment and report for the pool deck at 345. That's all for me. Good luck, Bears, and back to you in the studio. Finally, head down to the quad today during lunch to support the last day of the ILS Holiday Craft Fair. Well, that's all from us. Good luck on all your finals next week. I'm Mackenzie Monahan, And I'm Kamish Noom. Have a happy holidays and a restful winter break, Bears. We'll see you next year.